shit ever. It's a bomb. And we're alive. What a series of unfortunate events. I'm going to start by explaining just where I've been for the past month, month and a half maybe. So I'm going to start by saying obviously I'm okay, I'm alive, I'm here, I'm present, and that's not without some major, major life events and crazy things that have been going on. So basically, it all started with, I was dealing with like a lot of creative issues a couple months ago and a lot of like really shitty mental stuff, really difficult shitty mental stuff that I was going through. It's a short little like kind of minor break off of like social media and things like that. And then I was able to get to go to a Hanabi show, which is an amazing Japanese metal band. I was gonna wear their shirt, but... It's a long story. This is probably going to be an amalgamation of this vlog, what I filmed, and me talking over like everything that I filmed, so it's going to be like a huge longer thing, but yeah, we got to see them. It was amazing. And, you know, honestly, just because I haven't been around does not mean that I haven't been filming everything. I genuinely filled up this phone, which is my phone that I use, and then my husband's old phone used up about half of my camcorder. Can't wait to put this on here, but I can't until I have my computer, and I will explain that. Did I just have to fix my audio? Yes, please cut me some slack. I haven't been here for a while. This is my camcorder. I filled up like half of it. I use it a lot. My phone is so full. It has been screaming at me and dying, and I went through an old phone, and I got an old SD card that I didn't even realize I had, but I am more than positive you want me to get to the point, so yes. We went to the Hanabi show, amazing, and two days after that, The Used was playing, so we went to that show right after, and it was wonderful. So fun, and it was such a great experience. It was my third time seeing them, I think. Hanabi show was something else entirely. The Used was awesome, but Hanabi, like Japanese metal bands, have the most energy I've ever seen from anybody and they just do it differently. They do it differently, they do it bigger, they do it better. I got stuck in front of the mosh pit which was crazy because I was getting like crushed by people. It was really cool though. Please forgive my setup that I have going on right now. I have not done this sit down in a good while. I have a lot of videos backed up. Everything is chaos. Again, I don't have my computer so it's gonna be a little bit messy but when I have more time and my life isn't in shambles, I will definitely, I have some improvements to bring along and some updates at the end of this video. So that was really fun and it was like a nice little way to like end my time away and after that I was going to upload everything and be like, here's what's been going on and that didn't happen. Okay, so prior to both of the shows, we were hit with Hurricane Helene, which wasn't too bad here in Florida. We did get some crazy wind, which did some damage to our roof. We were able to fix it, but like our house is really old. It's really not doing well, and I'll get to that. Um, so Helene hit, and then we had the shows, and then a few days after the show, 
I'm sure you've heard about it if you know anything about Florida or if you haven't, we were hit by a massive Category 4 hurricane, Hurricane Milton, and it was, it was insane. Lana Coda. Stereo. So oh, I do have a really insane horror story about that, which I will tell you in another video. I don't know if it'll be my next. I'm still processing it because it was insanely traumatizing. I have lived in Florida my whole life. I am watching you. I've lived in Florida my whole life and I've never been traumatized by storms, but Milton was a little bit different. It was just um, not a good time. We did have to evacuate our home. I'll stick to the basics of what happened. We had to evacuate and we shut off our power because that's what they tell you to do when you evacuate. So we lost all of our food. We had to pack up a lot of our personal items such as my computer, my keyboard, a lot of like family photos and stuff and we had to store them with our friends. So they're still stored at my friend's house even though Milton was like almost 10 days ago and that's not their fault. Our lives have been chaotic since we got back. I want to preface this by saying I am so grateful to have a home and electricity and my life to come back to like i'm not complaining because these storms are no joke i've grown up around these and i'm lucky like i'm a lucky person to have my home still i'm i'm so grateful and you won't hear me complaining because there are people down the street from me who still have no power and haven't since the 10th there are people down the street from me whose houses are still flooded there are areas that are still inaccessible that's just me to say that like i'm not here to whine and moan and bitch but lord it has been difficult because there are so many elements to this and it's just so much to even process if i'm really all over that's why everything that i love and hold dear is locked away in storage right now so I'm working with gaming and my phone. I have been doing a ton of gaming, Baldur's Gate, just to cope. We went, we stayed, had our insanely traumatic experience, and my poor cats were traumatized. They were all fine. My family's all fine. We're good. So we're like, thank you. You know, it's, it's a blessing. That being said, my home received a ton of damage for Milton. We tried to do some repairs. We fixed our roof. We put some tarps over our already tarped roof. It, if you saw the outside of my house, I wouldn't be embarrassed because it is what it is, but it's not good. So now we have water coming into our house and essentially what we've discovered is that it, basically every room, every ceiling, takes on water now and this is a new development everything leaks my bedroom ceiling totally not great and our bathroom pours water and our kitchen where that ac unit is pours water and the corner now where it was damaged pours out water and this isn't like just rainwater this is moldy disgusting brown water. I also literally just discovered a couple like an hour ago cleaning my room today, cleaning up stuff, throwing out stuff because of mold and I'll get into that. I find piles of dead ants because they somehow got into our wall and ate through the wall and created a hole into our room. So now there's a pile like a mass grave of ants and I don't know if that's where they're storing their dead ants because you know ants do that or if there was just so many ants that got in they couldn't get out they died not termites i know termites they're ants back to the mold we got home we discovered a lot of water damage and a lot of mold there's mold growing in our shower there's mold growing in our kitchen there's mold growing in the seam of my room so it's like every different room is leaking and that's just been a huge thing that we've been dealing with since we got back from milton is just the utter mess of cleaning up we contacted aid and we're waiting on a response for that i don't know how that's gonna go we're hopeful we're hoping to move out which is really what we want we're trying to get assistance to move out again i'm eternally grateful but at the end of the day 
like we're living in an unsafe environment because of the amount of mold that's now growing from the storm and every time it rains it's going to bring more in like there was just was that hair or mold who knows was not there before this is not water damage from before and our house it's just screwed so hopefully hopefully we get assistance with cleaning products or it may be moving that's what we're really trying to do is find a nice nicer place to move that is not infested with mold that's been a huge challenge because you don't want to complain and you don't want to like make people feel like woe is me because there's a lot especially in north carolina after helene there's a lot of people who are struggling a lot more but mold is still dangerous and toxic and there's a lot of different kinds of it so that's where we've been at just trying to cope and manage and like i'm lucky enough to have the privilege to even complain about this stuff you know what i'm saying there's a lot more nuance to things like hurricanes and hurricane recovery than just the damage that you see on the news it does affect real families and real people and it is affecting my family my house is literally falling apart i can grab part of my wall and rip it out and that's not something i'm proud of but it's also I still have a roof over my head so it has been utter chaos i'm just going through things i'm throwing things away i'm finding things to put in storage so that it doesn't get destroyed by mold we just don't feel safe here anymore and it's a shame it was it it, it was all a shame helene milton i think we can all safely say that it didn't have any kind of positive impact on anybody so my heart goes out to anybody affected by it like my family was because you know this has got us questioning if we even want to live in florida anymore and you guys know that i'm like the swamp girl like i love it here i love my home so much and i just uh if i talk about it i'll get emotional because they're so bad they're so much worse than they used to be and i just love this place and i see so much damage that i know will never be cleaned up and destruction and the corrosion of the beaches i could literally talk about this for seven million hours but I'm not going to bore you guys. I love this place, but I don't know if it's safe anymore. And then people say, well, if you don't like it, then move. Brother, my entire family lineage lives here. My direct family and my husband's. It's hard to just walk away. I was born here. This is my home. I don't want to leave, but I might have to. And that's, it is honestly devastating. I don't mean to be a bummer. I am back and I want to talk about that a bit because I'm going to get to in my feels. So I hope that you can cut me a little slack because it has been really life changing and traumatizing and wonderful and just I've been living a lot of life and it's not all been good. Most of it's been pretty bad. So I hope that you can understand that. I do want to be back. I have a lot of plans and ideas and I'm really going to be needing this platform to help me get through and process everything and just have something to enjoy. So hopefully you will allow me to be here. I know that um, the algorithm will not and that's fine you and me don't gotta be friends algorithm it's cool when it comes to creative projects and everything that i have been working up and building and working on obviously was put on a hold a hiatus whatever you want to call it i have not been able to do anything i haven't been i haven't been able to i miss my keyboard so much but I can't even, if I got it, because I have access to it, I can get my keyboard, but if I did, I don't have my computer until I get out of town, and it's just like, oh, it's devastating, but that doesn't mean that I'm not still working on the projects. I originally made a plan to do my first music video before Halloween came out. That's obviously not happening. I spend most of my free time trying to figure out what to do with this house. I took my plushie net down because when the storm hit, my window got blown out. There's a window above that AC unit and it's all messed up because we live in a trailer and the window got blown out. So all of my plushies got wet and nasty. My plushie net, it's, you know, the projects. I just have it on hold. I know I said I want to give myself till next year. I'm probably honestly just going to give myself as much time as I want and do it as I can because I haven't even like 
I haven't even tried to make content in the past month, let alone creative stuff like that. And then once I gave up my computer and keyboard storage, it's just like, it's all a mess. My phones are full. The Everything is in storage. Uh, anything that's not in storage is in my car. And it's, um, I just think I need to give myself a little bit of time and a little bit of patience. So I'm doing that. And I missed you guys a lot, and I'm sorry for complaining so much, but I had to get on here and tell you what I've been going through because it's been just a lot of streaks of bad luck and awesome things and then more bad things, and we're trying to get through and we're trying to be somewhere. So like the creative stuff and the music and the music videos and all of those things, like just have been completely on the wayside. Actually, that little thing you see right there is a deer mask that I hand-painted and made a video about and then never got to post the video, so maybe I'll share that with you guys, but anything in it's not going to be as relevant because I really just need to give myself time to pick up the pieces and get my life back together, and then hopefully I can go from there and start small with little things and small creative endeavors and projects. I haven't, uh, really been existing for the past month and a half. Um, brother, this guy is mentally ill. <laughs> um, also been thinking, um, I don't really feel comfortable with handouts or asking for money, and my Patreon has been all but dead lately, but I might open a little shop. I might open a little shop for my art to help me out and see how that works out for me. Don't worry, this won't be promo city, but it might be something that I do just to share some art out there and sell some art because I do have some big pieces and that might, you know, who knows, that might help me out a little bit. That's definitely been a struggle. I lost so much time at work and I won't get into that but just might make an art page might obviously I'm still gonna share music and stuff like that but it's it's gonna be at a slower more chill pace so with that I think I will leave you guys and probably leave you with some fun cute footage here at the end just to lighten the mood I'm sorry for complaining but it's been it's been difficult, and uh, I'm glad to be here to be able to talk about it and to just go from there. So I guess we'll see what happens in the future. Okay, I'm sorry I was gone so long. I love you. Bye. So with all that being said, I think I'm going to go.